What's going on boys and girls? We're going to do a really quick chicken recipe. Two ways of cooking chicken. We're going to fry some chicken and we're going to bake some chicken. Now this is going to be real simple. We got some different chicken parts here. We got some thighs. We're going to fry the thighs and we've got some legs that we're going to bake. We got some seasonings. We're going to make a marinade for the for the baked chicken. I'm using some lemon juice, some vinegar, some spices, oregano, dill weed, um, some of the Tony Sacchari's and some Italian seasoning. Probably just stuff that you've got laying around your home. Most people have a lot of that kind of stuff. And then, of course, we've got some coconut oil that we're using to fry the chicken. So go ahead and do it. We're doing it in the wok this time. And then we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, you know, with uh, with the regular flour and the, and the seasoned flour. And we're not going to do anything special. We're not making no gluten-free fried chicken. We're making mama's fried chicken like, like she used to cook on Sundays. Oh, and one thing I left out was the avocado oil for the marinade. It's going to be a simple marinade, guys. We're just going to take uh, some vinegar. Just going to eyeball it. Take a little bit of vinegar. That was probably about a fourth of a cup there. You don't want it to be all vinegary tasting, so you're going to take some lemon juice. I'm going to try to get a little bit more of that. It's about a fourth of a cup. Put some oil in here. I'm going to do some dill weed. Going to do some oregano. There's a lot of oregano. Do some Italian seasoning. Smells really good. Going to do some Tony Saturies. Maybe we need to open it first. All right. Then we're just going to kind of. Just kind of mix it up. About to sneeze here. Well, my sneeze didn't come out, so we're just going to whisk it up. Okay, once we get that mixed in, we're going to get a little plastic bag. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. All right, then we're going to put our chicken legs in the bag. We're just going to pour our marinade all over it here. Out. Now you can let this marinate on the chicken, you know, um, overnight if you want to, or just for 30, 40 minutes, or you can just put it directly into the, put it directly into the oven, which is what we're going to do, and it's still going to come out the way. <laughs> kind of mix it around here. Have your greased cookie sheet or pan. Mix it in real good. All right, then we're gonna put it in our pan. All right, we're gonna put this in our pan. You can just pour it directly in here, guys. Just like this. Nothing fancy. It's gonna have some liquid down there at the bottom. Spread them out. Again, this is a grease cookie sheet. And what I will also do is I'll go ahead and top this with a little bit more of the Tony Satchery's, just in case some of it was lost. Not a lot. And then we're going to pop this in the oven for about at about 400 degrees for about um, about 45 minutes to an hour. All right, now to do our flour dredge, we're going to take some all-purpose flour here. And you can just do this in a paper bag if you want to, or you can do it in a bowl. I'm going to use this little fancy smancy thing here. It's made for bread and chicken. I'm going to put a, quite a bit of Tony Satchery's in there. Okay. Put some oregano in there, quite a bit. Again, I'm not measuring anything. Quite a bit of the dill weed. I'm about to sneeze. 
All right, then we're going to mix that up real good. All right, let's get it mixed up real thoroughly here. Again, we're not doing no fancy smancy uh, gluten free. This is just going to be regular old fried chicken. Sometimes simple stuff is a lot easier to do than trying to make it a certain way. And I haven't made it the, the regular way in a long time. This is the way I used to make it a while ago. in all right this is the cool part right here this little thing right here goes on top we put our chicken pieces right on top of that basket part oops all the goodness there's only six five of them six of them so all of them should be able to go in there without any kind of problem All right, and then we get the lid. This is where you could make a big mistake here. Get the lid and make sure that thing locks. And it'll make a certain sound when it locks. It'll make a snapping sound when it locks. And it ain't locked yet. I can already tell you I've used this thing many times and it will food and again we just do this see how the dredge is see how the dredge is going in there do this it takes the dredge back down do this and then you shake it back down and we're gonna take a look at the chicken and see what we got here see nice and covered now we're going to check our oil, see if our oil is hot enough, and then we're going to fry some chicken. Alrighty, our oil is about at, it's about 375, 380. So it'll cool down. You want it to be about 250, or 350. So it will cool down as you put the chicken in there. So we're going to put that in there. We can probably get all of these in here, guys. We're going to try. Right, I'm gonna let that fry for about uh, since it's covered completely, we're gonna go about 12 to 15 minutes. Now sometimes what you can do is so it's not kind of crowding itself out here, kind of move some of it around so it doesn't stick. There we go. All right, guys, I let that go for about 17 minutes or so because you can kind of tell when the chicken is starting to get done because um, the sound changes. We're going to take it out. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty, doesn't it? And see how the breading stays on it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's some good looking fried chicken right there. Now. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you try to make some healthy stuff and it don't ever come out looking, don't never come out looking good, you know? This looks good. <laughs> this looks good right here. I'm gonna take out this last piece right here. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. That is some good looking fried chicken right there. I'm gonna let it cool down. Normally what I'll do is I'll throw a little bit more seasoning on it just to be on the safe side. 
You won't want to overdo it, but this will just really intensify the flavor. There we go, guys. Of course, the um, other chicken's got nearly 20 minutes to go, but this is ready. All righty, now our baked chicken is ready as well, so I'm going to go ahead and put that out here. Oh, yeah. Didn't hear it. Hear that, guys? All right, we don't want it to fall out here. There's the baked chicken. Of course, we know which one looks better. It's all going to taste good, but which one looks better? The fried chicken always looks better. So we're going to just take a little look at it here, guys. So we got two different kinds of chicken, guys. We got some, some nice and healthy baked chicken and some, and I'm not going to say this is not healthy, but it's, um, you know, when it's cooked in oil, it makes it a little bit less healthy. So, but anyway, that was real easy to do and it took less than an hour. You guys have a great day. Peace.